everyone this is Robin and oh my goodness wow I have such a fun video for you today I normally don't show you the project at the beginning but I want to teach you how to make this super cute little candy box goodie one of my good friends Sandy at our Stampin' Up! event gave me a Christmas box like this and I was so impressed by it that I told her I was going to make a video to show my customers and viewers how to make this as well. So I took apart her box and I measured and I figured out how to do it. And I'm so excited. So I decided just to make a simple one using our little elephant stamp set, which I think is good to use year round. So I wanted to kind of show you since, you know, the holidays, they're not wrapping up yet. It's, it's just December now, right? It's almost December, December. But I want to show you projects that you can use throughout the years and stamp sets that are versatile. So this is a really cute one. It's kind of meant for maybe a baby shower or a baby, but I use it for to my friend. Um, a little kindness is a big thing. Congratulations. I'll forget you not. Celebrate your big day. So there's this is a very versatile stamp set and I absolutely love it. And it has a coordinating punch, the uh, elephant punch builder or elephant builder punch. And so I'm going to be using that as well. But I'm going to show you how to make this box. And so if you go to mypinkstamper.com, I'll have a, I should have a link or I might have this in the description. I'll have this written out for you too. I'll put a picture, I'll put a picture at the end of this. So it shows you, I have it all scored out and how we're going to make this. And I'm so excited because I haven't done a box video in quite a bit. I've done the bags and baggies and the goodies, but this is just so adorable. Can you guys just see how cute that is? I don't know if you can see it with it being black, but I thought it was super cute. So I'm gonna show you this from scratch. So we're gonna start and I'm gonna tell you everything you need. This might be a longer video. So if you have a notepad and pen, if you wanna take any notes, you can. I will have the items I use along with the description at the, uh, the bottom of my screen here. Everything you see in this video today can be ordered directly from my shopping page, mypinkstamper.stampinup.net. Okay, so we will go ahead and get started and I will pull out what we need. We're not gonna use the stamps and all the other stuff until we get the box figured out first. So I'm using our Stampin' Up trimmer. We'll start with the Stampin' Up trimmer or if you have a scoring tool, you'll need to be able to cut your paper down first and then we're going to score it. I'm using our, our paper trimmer because, and let me just lift this up for you so you guys can see it. Um, it has the scoring at the top and it has the cutting at the bottom. And I love that this little handy arm comes out. So it's really handy because you can go up to uh, 15, 14 and a half inches wide, which I don't know why I ever would need to go that wide, but maybe someday I might. Okay, so I have my little notes right here. So this is telling you the size. This is going to be seven and a half, and then I'll have little ink splatters everywhere. Um, seven and a half inches by seven inches. So just cut your cardstock down to seven and a half. So I'm gonna do it this way. This will save me more paper. Seven and a half inches. And I'm going to use the cutting blade. This comes with a cutting and a scoring blade. I have them both up at the top. Um, seven and a half by seven inches. And that's all the cutting. That's the only cutting we're doing on this whole entire card. Or not card. I'm used to saying card. Um, project. So now we're going to kind of copy this. So this is my little template. You might want to make a little template like this yourself. So all of these lines. So this is seven and a half. And then this will be seven inches, okay? And this is our basic black cardstock. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start with the seven and a half. So these are the, the scores. I'm gonna score it at one, one and a half, and two. And then if you'll look, I'll wanna turn it the other way and I'm gonna score it one, one and a half, and two. So we'll go ahead and do that first. So I'm gonna score this at one, or you can do it two, one and a half, one. I'm just going to simply score it up here one and we do have a scoring tool as well but I found this just worked just fine one and a half and two and when you're using the scorer don't do it too hard you don't want to accidentally cut through the cardstock just just lightly score it I'm gonna do the same thing so I've turned it around one one and a half 
and two. Okay, so I have these lines all done, one, two, and three, and you can't really see on the black as well, but you can see on this piece. Now I'm gonna turn it this way, and this one says, actually I'm gonna start in this way. I'm gonna score it at one, then three and a quarter, four and a quarter, and six and a half. If you wanna take a screenshot of this, you can do that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just have this next to me so I can see. I'm going to score it at one inch. So I'm gonna score it at one. Then I'm gonna score it three and a quarter. Then I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter. And then I'm gonna score it at six and a half inches. Easy peasy. Okay, that's all the scoring I'm going to do. You can't see it that well on my black card stock, but it's all done there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is the long ones, the ones, they're all long actually. The one that has the one, let's see, no, no, no. Let's see what I'm gonna do first, yes. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. The one that has the long, so it'll look like rectangles. I'm gonna just lightly fold that. And then I'm gonna turn and I'm, I'm gonna keep going, fold these, fold all of these. I'm gonna fold these. And then I'm also going to fold the other sides in just to kind of have a little bit of a score. You want the score to just be scored a little bit like that. <clears throat> I mean the score line to be able to be folded. I think you guys might think this is one of the cutest things that I've shared in a long time. I don't know, I have share I share a lot of fun things here and there, but this is my favorite so far in a long time. So I have these all like this. Okay, now we're going to take, I recommend using our tear and tape and on the thin side, so it's like this, it's the little part. Probably shouldn't have used black, but it'll be this part right here. You'll have one strip that is about half of an inch and we're going to put the tear and tape just all the way across. I think, am I doing this right? Yes, I am. I am doing this right. Now I'm gonna take the tear and tape off. I just like to use a paper piercer or something sharp. And fold this like this, and then I just fold this in and it just attaches to that. So now I have a tube. I have a rectangle tube. Now we're gonna pull out, this is our envelope punch board. So I bet you didn't know you could use this for things like this, or maybe you did, and you're thinking, I already knew that, Robin. Well, then we'll do it together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold these, and there's three lines where you can, why did I use black? I'm not sure, but there's three lines on each side, and you're gonna line up the center line with the center of this punch right here. So it's just going to go flush, and then this will be the center, and then you're going to press it down, and you're gonna have this punch that looks like this, okay? And I'm gonna do that on this side as well. This is really quite a unique little box here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm flipping it over, doing this again. I probably wanna take off the Okay. And this was the part that I I taped, so I'm gonna kinda get a better Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. If I had this, if I didn't have um video equipment in my way, I probably would be able to do that no problem. Maybe I'd put it on a lower table so I could get really get my body weight. So I'm gonna push it over here and I'm gonna get on top of that. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the other way. We're going to like, so it was turned like this. Now we're going to turn it this way. There we go. And these ones shouldn't give me an, as many problems because I don't have to go through the big tape. Okay, did the one. This is a good ab workout, you know? I feel it in my stomach muscles. So you can work out while you are crafting. You don't even know it. I'll make a whole workout video just on 
crafting techniques. We could totally do it. The Big Shot weighs like, what, 10 pounds? All right. Take a breath, and this is our last one. There we go, okay, yay. So I'm going to clean up my mess here. And so now we have our box that has the, it'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight notches. Notches. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to start making this the cute little box that you saw earlier. And I will need my paper trimmer again. And I am going to, I made myself little notes down here. This is our Brights Designer Series paper and it comes in a six by six stack. Oh no, this isn't the Brights, this is the in color the new in color. So it has all this paper using our new in color paper, or is this last year's in colors? This is last year's in colors. Okay. Still, it's still available all this year. And so now I'm going to be cutting two each of three and a half. Let me make sure I do this right. So I, okay, three and a half. And then I am going to do two, two, two by three and a half. I'm doing two of those. So I'll do, I'm doing a four. I'm doing all sorts of math equations. So these are two by three and a half inches. I'll just write that on the screen so it's easy for you. And then this la these last two pieces are three and a quarter by three and a half. So I'm gonna do a little math again, cut it in half and then in half. So if you don't wanna do the math portion, there are two strips at three quarters by three and a half, super easy. Okay, I think that's all we need the cutter for. And I will save this with my notes. Maybe I'll put it with this <laughs> so I can keep those together. Okay, and it's just gonna be so fun. I'm gonna make all sorts of boxes with different sizes and I'll share them with you guys. So I'm gonna put adhesive on. This is our snail adhesive. I'm going to put it on the bo bottom or the back. I can speak today, I promise. I think I'm just so excited about this box. You guys, I, so you know Carly's my best friend. If you're new to my channel, my best friend's name is Carly. And I already sent her the picture of this. When I have something that I'm really excited about, I send it to her, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so cute. Can you believe I made it? Oh, did I do the math wrong? I did the math wrong, that's okay. That's okay. So I'm gonna put this one all the way to the edge. This one goes all the way to the edge and then you'll have a strip of black on the top and on the side, okay? So it'll go from edge to edge of where you scored it, and then you'll have a little strip on the top. Okay, there we go. And then these ones are gonna be the same way. These will go edge to edge. I think I should have cut it at three and a quarter, but it's okay, because I think it still works. It still looks great. I'll show you the difference. Okay. So now we're gonna do a little, whoop, I didn't do that one right, did I? Oh, Robin. Oh, Robin. Oh, Robin, Robin. You can't do that to yourself, about yourself, can you? Okay, it's good. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take our Momento Tuxedo Black ink pad. This is for all your basic stamping and your basic black ink. And also, if you're using our stamping blends, markers, this is the ink pad to use. I'm going to be using one of the elephants from the little elephant stamp set that I just showed you. And I'm using a piece of our basic gray cardstock. And I'm going to stamp this black on here. Whoops. <laughs> I'm going to stamp it, press firmly. Don't rock back and forth. And I have my little elephant. And now while I have the black out ink out, I'm also going to grab to my friend, because I thought this is a great little box to give to a friend, fill it with all sorts of goodies or lipstick, chapstick, gift cards, whatever you want. So it says to my friend, and they'll never want to open it up. So they may never know what's on the inside because it's so cute. All right, enough about my cute box, because it's so adorable. I'm not even kidding you. We're gonna take our Elephant Builder Punch and just open it up, and it's super easy. You just flip it upside down, line it up, and then you don't have to cut out a little, isn't that funny, I have a gray ink, I have a gray mat, so it totally blends in. But if it wasn't to blend in, this is what it would look like. So I'm gonna set that aside. And now we only have one more punch, or one more item to do, and I could have used our punch, but I wanted to show you 
uh, one of our framelits. So I'm pulling out our Big Shot. That's 10 pounds. Remember I said earlier, if you want to do a little weight lifting, just lift up your Big Shot. And get, you can count that as exercise while you're in your craft room. And then I'm using a piece of our, just a scrap piece of our Bermuda Bay cardstock. And then I'm using one of our layering circles framelits. These come in a set of circles and scallop circles, and they all nest within each other, which is super nice. It's a huge assortment. All right, I'm gonna just roll that through. And I just wanted to add a little bit of color to the back because I love these colors together. I think they're just amazing. They're the just the best colors ever. And I'm, I'm really truly meaning that because I love them. I love bright and happy colors. So it's been like really rainy here in Utah this past week. I don't do well with this dark weather. Like I just don't do well if you're like me. So I have to have brightness. I have to work on projects that are bright and fun during this time. And so this one was a perfect one for this rainy, rainy day outside. It'll be snow soon. Don't worry. Don't you worry. Okay. So now I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of my circle. And while this is flat still, I'm just going to put it right there to my friend because I love you so much. All right. So now I'm going to grab a pair of our paper snips. I love our paper snips. Just have to keep them away from your kids so they don't open up those, you know, ice bars in the summer because they get all sticky. But these are my paper snips and they're perfect for, oh, my ribbon. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back because I need to grab another roll of this ribbon. I didn't realize I was almost out. And it's a good thing I had a couple of these rolls left over from one of my classes. So I'll give, put this in my giveaway box. I put my little remnants in there. Okay, so what you do now is you fill this with goodies or you, we're gonna close one side. And remember how we kind of folded it first? You guys, I don't know if you can see this from here. I'm gonna take some really good pictures. I'll take them on my outside studio lighting area. I get really good outside lighting pictures. And you'll see the dimensions on this, because I don't know if you can see. Let me put a piece of, can you see now? Wait, 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 that was really silly. Hold on. I'm not going to be a silly. I'm going to be like really, there we go. <laughs> now you can kind of see it looks like a little candy box. This is the cutest thing ever. Seriously, I, I'm not taking credit for inventing it at all. But I am going to make this cute elephant one that I did design myself. Okay, so you're going to do that so it kind of folds in on, on itself on one side. And then I'm just tying some ribbon. Watch this. Once you pull it, it just really just defines it even more. And then I'm going to kind of put my finger here a little bit. And then I'm going to pull it like this and pull it and I'm going to tighten it. Now I'm going to do like the bow. So my bows are super easy. I'm not a bow expert, nor do I claim to be, but I can do simple bows. Okay. Cause it's just so cute. Sorry. I'm getting a little carried away because it is really so cute, you guys. And then you can just clip these off. I like to do, sometimes I do mine at an angle. Sometimes I do my ribbon straight across. So then you just do one side. Then you fill it with goodies. And I think a gift card will fit in there sideways. Fit a gift card in there. I think I'm going to do these. My daughter, my other daughter, Maddie and I, were throwing my 20-year-old daughter. She's getting married at the end of December. We're throwing her bridal shower. So this may be what we're gonna do for her um, party favors and just have it, you know, like you can change the theme, you can do whatever you want, make it more bridally, use her, bridally, is that a word? <laughs> make it her wedding colors. Um, but I think it's totally adorable to do. And I will have help making it, putting these together. Okay, so I have my other one, you guys. So do you see how easy this is? I mean, once you get the formula down and the the, the scoring and all of that, but I gave you all of the, everything you need to know is on here. I'll also post this on Pinterest so you can find it on my Pinterest board. And I'm, I believe I'm my pink stamper. I think I'm my pink stamper on my Pinterest. If you're not following my board yet, I pin everything from my website on there. Okay, you guys, I like this little sheet of our coastal cabana coordinates look at that so this is the difference so this one just went all the way to the edges you can't even tell this one was just in a little bit more so i have two cute 
little candy. They are so adorable, you guys. So I challenge you to try to make these too. I know you can do it. If you like this video today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet so I can share more of my video tutorial creations with you. Don't forget you can find me at mypinkstamper.com and I hope you have a bright and happy day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.